Привет, друзья! Как дела? My name is Fedor, and today we're going to be talking about a phrase "da ладно". "Da ладно" is a very inter interesting phrase with many meanings. That well, in fact, it's not like a meaning, but it's a way of you expressing your emotions. Okay, and we're going to talk about those emotions and which emotions can you express with that phrase today. Before we jump into the actual combination of them two. I want to say that it's a very conversational phrase. It's like slang, but you can say it to anybody, to your professor, to your friends, it doesn't really matter. But um, it's, a, it's a very conversational, so when you're in a very, very formal setting, like with your boss or somebody that you, um, you know, below, if you don't have that friendship between them, I would not be using this, uh, this phrase. You know, because you might come across as you think you're close with them, but you're not, okay? So, let me just warn you about that. So, да ладно. Да, separately, as you know, means yes. And as you, as you also know from another video, it, it also can be a filler word, which means that it doesn't have a specific meaning. It's just there for some other reason, okay? And then ладно... It's mostly going to be used as, uh, all right, okay, I agree, got it, in those kind of situations. But, again, just like da, and in this exact phrase, it can be used as something else, okay? So, when we combine these two, when they kind of adapt to, to the situation, it doesn't have any meaning, the combination doesn't have any meaning, but it, um, it's going to have some sort of emotion um, how, how can I put this in the most beautiful way? It doesn't have a meaning, but it can also only have a meaning when you are transforming some emotions with it. Basically, uh, it shows your emotions and not the meaning that you're trying to say, okay? So, let's get to the actual, you know, meanings of this phrase. First one is daladna. When somebody is, tell is telling you something, and you don't believe the fact, but you believe the person. Okay, let me give you an example. Your daughter uh, that has been an A student all her life comes to you and says, um, Daddy, Mommy, um, I got an F. And you say, Dolodna. Like, seriously? Like, I believe you, my daughter, but the fact is so unusual, it's hard to believe it. You know, it's something that doesn't happen regularly. It's hard to believe that fact, but I believe the person. So you don't question whether the person is lying to you or not. You are kind of like in disbelief. Oh my gosh, really? It can be in a negative way when your daughter gets an F, if she got all A's before, or the opposite. It's like, Dawada. Really? Wow. Or, you know, you know, like when you, um, for example, with that positive thing, you say, you, you tell to your friends that you went to the store and you saw and you saw like a star, a superstar, and you took a picture with them. And, and they say, Dawadna. Like they are really, really uh, surprised by that fact in a positive way. Another way of using Dawadna is the same, it's very similar. And you say, Dawadna. It's like, stop joking, stop, stop lying, stop playing. When you think that the person is trying to get you, is trying to play you, is trying to lie to you, you say, Dawadna. Like, I don't believe you type of thing. It's still very similar, similar to the first one, but it's kind of different. In this situation, you don't believe the person, and you don't believe the fact. Okay? Fourth one is when you say uh, da ladna, and when da and ladna have their own meaning. It's like, da, ladna. It's like, really? Okay. They're taken separately in this situation. And uh, the, reason, the reason why I included that here is because... I don't want you to hear that phrase, da ladna, and thinking that is the same as those two. You know, it can be also used in this situation where both words are taken literally. They're going to have a meaning. Okay? And the last one, and the one that I think is used the most, is uh, when it's like, ah, da ladna. It's like, ah, whatever. You know? So, in that situation, the meaning... You're trying to say, it's like, ah, whatever, it doesn't matter, you know. So, um, 
it's a whole different approach to, to the same phrase and it's very different from the first two and the third one of course is different from two and I'm just wondering myself guys how can the same exact phrase with the same exact words with different intonation can be different things so basically what uh, distinguishes these four phrases is the intonation and the way you say it you know and the context the same exact uh, you know phrase and that just really surprises me and that's just it's giving me another reason to love Russian is because of how um, you know detailed you have to be and how precise you have to be and that's why I'm here for you guys because you might not know these phrases and I'm here to bring it to you and you know enlighten you on those things all right and that's it for today guys thank you so much for watching this video I hope you enjoyed it I hope you liked it let me know what you think about it and I'll see you in the comments пока пока